Great, and then uh, the last question I had for, for each of the panelists, and we can open it back up for a couple of last questions after that. If you were to leave people here with one piece of advice about cybersecurity and how they should think about the next couple of years and what they can do to protect themselves, um, could you each try to share a quick pearl of, of wisdom? Scott, maybe you could start. I think one of the most uh, accessible things for most organizations is to focus on the basics. It's amazing how much research emphasizes that uh, failure to achieve the basics of security strategy. Uh, stymies the best efforts of most organizations. So as Rolf is alluding to focus on the areas where your most important data uh, can be found and protect that, how it moves. Um, fundamental issues such as maintaining software updates and maintaining the integrity of your systems. I mean, these are things that have made it onto the, the SANS uh, 20 critical controls list, things that are emphasized repeatedly in study after study, including IBM. So begin at the beginning, establish a solid foundation. But at the same time, keep an eye on where security is going. And visibility into activity is one of the most important things that I think an organization can do in terms of getting as close to an immediate response as possible uh, to today's threats. Uh, I guess my, my small observation piece of advice is that most people don't understand how computers work on a, on a pretty fundamental level. And in order to really address this problem, you need to commit to like hiring technical people who are creative and in there to fight against this for the long for the long haul because it's all happening basically underneath you if you if you don't have like visibility into that and I mean like technical visibility into how how this arena operates. Uh, I remember I was at a conference and in the, in, in the uh, IBM CSO this was a couple of years ago she said be afraid be very afraid <laughs> of, and talking about the exponential increase in uh, cyber attacks I would just say the first step in uh, solving a problem is admitting that you have one. And so I think really having the, uh, being honest to yourself and to your enterprise that you are vulnerable and be ruthless in testing the, the vulnerabilities of your network is a very important first step to building a stronger network. Yeah. <clears throat> the one thing that I, that I would add to what my colleagues have said is um, make sure that you have an understandable awareness campaign running in your in your enterprises and translate the fear of cybersecurity in some tangible, understandable actions for all of your people, for your whole um, organization. <coughs> um, because the biggest threat to our data information to our networks is each of us. And we got some interesting examples earlier um, and looking at some campaigns, I think a lot of campaigns, all the articles are uh, fearing some of our colleagues to death, but it doesn't help if we then don't tell them um, what to do. And delivering the message and giving some very easy guidance, like for example, don't click on anything, you're not 100% sure where it's coming from. Keep some healthy skepticism around everything that's going out there in the cyberspace and don't share anything in the internet. You wouldn't actually put at a big wall um, somewhere in New York um, are some very easy awareness messages that everybody understands and keeps the consciousness up as we are getting hundreds of emails per day. So, so to, it was mentioned before, so I would say awareness, a, a good dose of paranoia is healthy, at least in the security professional staff. Um, higher, higher paranoid professional uh, people on the, on the security <laughs> side at that, um, because it's healthy, it's very important. But, but I, wanna, I, I would like the crowd to leave also with optimism, because uh, again, we're just a little uh, a snippet of, of the information security industry, uh, and there are a lot of people on the good side that are innovating, that are researching, um, and, and, are, and are trying to solve this problem. It's going to never go away completely as, as the more the world becomes digital, but we can try to mitigate it so that people can go on with their lives and their businesses. All right, so as a lawyer, it's hard to come up with one thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, so I'll give you three, but they'll be really short. So one is the C-suite board point that I made earlier. You really have to know what's going on and can't just say we have a general sense. Um, the second is, and may maybe this is the most important one, in the United States there's very little privacy or security regulation or legislation today. Um, having said that, the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, is very active in this area. So how could they do that? There's nothing really, you know, to regulate. And what they've been hanging their hat on over and over again is that you can't mislead consumers. And all too often, and it shocks me how often we have this in our practice, 
companies' privacy policies, pri privacy policies, what they say about what they do, either in security or privacy, externally facing in documents or policies, don't match up what they really do. And it's very important if you're a company to sort of do a health check and make sure that what you're pushing out as your policy is really what you're doing, because that's the biggest risk you have today in terms of, um, you know, the government coming after you in the United States. And the last thing I'd say is, if you do have an issue, partnering with law enforcement is a much more um, recommended route than I think it was a few years ago. The FBI is very, very sensitive that they created this perception that they're very anti-business, that if you came to them with a cybersecurity issue, you know, they would shut down your business while they investigated it. Um, and they're, they're really on this huge public relations campaign, literally, uh, to get the private sector to work with them if there is a security risk. And I think they've been very successful at doing that, and it's something to keep in mind if you really do have a breach and are thinking of approaching law enforcement or not.